So I'm going to cut me a piece of sock, a little narrow piece. I'm just going to drag it up underneath. Put a little of this dust up in there. I said a little, but I put a lot. That's okay though. I'm just going to stick this under, underneath there and pull it through. That way we can clean out the uh, goop. A lot of dirt that'll sit in there and you can't get to it. Can't get to it good to clean it. You can dismantle one of these babies and you find yourself with an awful lot of little nuts and bolts and things, screws and washers. And it's, a, it's a job. Clean everything up, put it back together. It's real nice. I mean, it's, a, it's not a bad job. I mean, if you like banjos and you don't want to spend your time with it, you can also do this. This is quicker, but it, it also kind of works. Just pull your, because uh, that's where all the dirt sticks in there. Right in there. <clears throat> that's where all the dirty spots are at. Real dirty stuff is in there. loose one and it's turned around backwards too. Interesting. I'll probably retighten these uh, nuts. I'm surprised none of them got lost off in it. A lot of times you get an old banjo like this all the nuts and things have done been lost on it. Missing missing nuts and bolts and all kind of stuff. This one's, in, this one's all complete when I got it. Even had five strings on it, even if one of them did break right off. That was still pretty good. You wouldn't want to do that with a skinhead banjo because, you know, a skinhead banjo, if you get it wet, the skin will stretch. Of course, then if you tighten it, when it shrinks again, it'll pop. You have to be really careful with them. But this one has a plastic head. The plastic heads tend to be a little brighter. Some people say they sound better. Some people say they don't. It's really, you know, I got I got banjos with both, and each one are unique. But I like them each one just fine. So I don't. The other thing about it, I mentioned having that other pot in there. The other pot is exactly like this, and it has a skin head, so it'd be pretty easy to swap it back and forth, you know, swap it. Literally, you could take this neck off, put it on that other pot, easy as pie. Yep, sure would be. I think there's a piece missing from that bracket that holds the neck on. Usually there's a little square washer under there that the bracket goes up against. Let me check and make sure y'all's battery ain't quit on me.